This week, I've been in California spending some time with the Lexus LC500. Right now, we're on the California coast. We're on Highway 1. We're going to be going down from Carmel by the Sea to Big Sur, and one of the most beautiful scenic drives I think you can have in the United States. We're on vacation. We're on our baby moon this week, so I figured what is the best car to take to California, and I can't really think of many better options besides the LC500 convertible. We've had the top down for a lot of the trip. We went to Yosemite, really enjoyed this car, and now it's at home on the California coast on Highway 1. I just, I love this thing. It has been a fantastic vehicle for the last few days. It is the ultimate grand tourer, I think, that's on sale today. Let's hop in, go for a drive. We'll put the top down, listen to this 5 liter V8. 471 horsepower, 10 speed automatic. We've done quite a few videos on the LC500 so far. So you guys are pretty familiar with my thoughts and opinions for now, but actually living with this thing and putting some road trip miles on it, you can see it's filthy on the outside. Uh, it's gotten, I've gotten to know this car a little bit more and it is just, what a thing to live with. Just a fantastic vehicle. One of my favorite features about this LC500 is that you can comfortably drive with the top down with zero wind buffeting none it's almost like there's just a big moon roof above you put the top up and down i think below speeds of 30 miles an hour or so and with all the windows up it is just a fantastic experience we've got these little tiny vents back here that warm your neck when you put the top down a heated steering wheel heated seats very comfortable in this LC500 today. Let's throw it into sport mode and we'll head off. <laughs> Usually when I drive convertibles, I have to wear these 180s earmuffs to keep the wind out of the microphones because I have binaural in-ear microphones not with this LC. So what's this car been like to live with all week? Well, we've got, you know, we've got some likes, we've got some dislikes. I just want to say that overall, this is, I think, fantastic road trip vehicle. There's just enough room in the trunk for two carry-on luggage suitcases. And that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> the back seats are pretty useful. You can kind of use them as a parcel shelf. Nothing blows around in the interior because there's no wind buffeting. You don't have to worry about your papers or your, your pamphlets or your maps flying around with the top down, which is great. Visibility, the views, the sounds, the sights are all phenomenal. This sound system is great, even at speed with the top down. It sounds awesome. You can really enjoy some music when you're on the road. This has gotten surprisingly good fuel economy this week. 23.2 miles to the gallon over 600 miles of very mixed driving. Some very spirited, some very relaxed, some highway, most back roads and canyons. <laughs> the power is awesome, 471 horsepower. The noise is amazing. This car really shines in sport mode. And I love shifting the gears myself. These paddle shifters, really responsive. I mean, you can even throw it up into Sport Plus. But it almost, the transmission, this 10 speed, almost feels smoother in Sport and Sport Plus compared to normal or comfort and Eco, for example. The shifts are just a little bit quicker, a little bit crisper, less jerky. 
We're on an incredibly smooth road right now, but we've had some really bumpy sections, especially through kind of Fresno, California area. You get in some of those roads where there's all the, uh, the orange farms and you get some semi trucks and there's just tons of potholes, tons of rough, rough roads. And uh, the ride quality, this has the adaptive suspension. The ride quality is phenomenal. It's almost floaty and it feels like a luxury vehicle. I mean, this, uh, this rides like an LS500 in some situations. The long wheelbase, the suspension travel is surprisingly uh, good. And then you put it into Sport Sport Plus, the things stiffen up just a little bit. This is still on the softer side. I mean, this is not a car that you're gonna be uh, hustling around super fast around track, even though it can do it. The focus here is comfort. And I really like that Lexus has honed in on that for this car. Really the biggest complaint I have about this Lexus LC500 is that this infotainment is just really tedious to use. Uh, Apple CarPlay works great, everything integrates really nicely with that. I can't adjust the volume of the GPS, so if I'm navigating with Google Maps or Waze, uh, I'm unable to adjust the volume in the Lexus uh, volume controls. So I think I have to go in the app in, those, in Google Maps in Waze and adjust the volume from there. These auto climate controls, the auto seat controls when you enter the car, I, I'm completely, after spending three, four days in this car and trying to go through the settings, I'm completely lost on how to really make them do what I want them to do. Um, you just kind of have to live with it and I think you'd eventually figure it out. But, you know, my headrest heater is always automatically turning on when I maybe don't necessarily want it to. Um, this Lexus Concierge is a little bit of a mystery and I'm, I'm kind of befuddled by how it all works. So, and I feel like I'm a pretty tech savvy guy. The, uh, is the average Lexus LC500 buyer going to be able to figure it out? Maybe, maybe not. Um, there are going to be some mysteries in this car's ownership that, you know, you may never figure out. But all that said, it doesn't detract from the experience of living with this car. Um, I think, you know, the places you can go with this thing, the things you can do in this car really outweigh all the negatives. It is a, it is greater than the sum of its parts, in other words, and uh, it is greater than the sum of its flaws also. Mostly just because it has this phenomenal 5 liter V8. But all week we found it to be a very enjoyable and comfortable car to drive. A few little weird shifts and harsh bumps from the 10 speed, but for the most part, if you leave it in sport mode in your canyon driving, you shouldn't have any issues. And normal and eco gives you some good fuel economy the rest of the time when you're just cruising on the highway. section of Highway 1 with all these bridges, the views, the sights, unbeatable. This has got to be one of the best driving roads in the country, and maybe even in the world. I don't know. This is just amazing. Sport Plus. Lexus hasn't messed around with this exhaust. No pops and burbles. It's just a clean, smooth tone. And that rev limiter. I'm so glad they made this a convertible. 
it really makes the experience. Being able to hear that exhaust sound with the top down through these canyons, echoing off the walls. It doesn't get much better. sounds really good from the outside. This is a loud car. Lexus has done a really nice job finessing the suspension into just about perfection. I remember when these first came out, they were a little bit imbalanced, a little bit soft around some corners, a little bit stiff in some environments, and they've achieved a really perfect balance, especially with this, these adaptive shocks. This LC500 is specced pretty much fully loaded. It's 113 grand as tested. If you're looking for a Grand Tour, this is it's worth it. This is the one to get. I've always compared this, or called this, the Japanese Aston Martin. The materials, the fit, the finish, the feel of it all, this V8, it all just adds up to an amazing, amazing experience. Look at this view. Oh, I was out here a long time ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago with my dad. We rented a PT Cruiser Turbo Convertible. Every time I've been to Monterey, this area, Big Sur, Yosemite, always rented a convertible. And I think that's the way to experience this area with the top down.
Are you guys seeing this view? Amazing, just amazing. I'm sorry the windows are such a mess. I tried to find a car wash, but there's nothing within 30 minutes of here. I think this is one of the few places I would actually consider living in the country. This is um, other places that I where I live now. This would be worth the move, the effort, the uproot. Just amazing. It's been a pleasure to share this drive with you guys. This is one of this is one of the most amazing drives I've ever done in all my years of doing this. This car, this road this morning right now just awesome zero to 60 It's 55, 54 degrees outside, perfectly comfortable.
right, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. That was just an amazing drive. I'm not going to not gonna forget that one anytime soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.